Bible Verses on Spiritual Growth For this cause we also, since the day we heard it, do not cease to pray for you, and to desire that ye might be filled with the knowledge of his will in all wisdom and spiritual understanding, that ye might walk worthy of the Lord unto all pleasing, being fruitful in every good work, and increasing in the knowledge of God. Colossians chapter 1, verses 9 to 10. But grow in grace, and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. To him be glory both now and forever. Amen. 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 18. Wherefore, laying aside all malice, and all guile, and hypocrisies, and envies, and all evil speakings, as newborn babes desire the sincere milk of the word, that ye may grow thereby. 1 Peter chapter 2, verses 1 to 2. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Matthew chapter 5, verse 6. But speaking the truth in love, may grow up into him in all things, which is the head, even Christ, from whom the whole body fitly joined together and compacted by that which every joint supplieth, according to the effectual working in the measure of every part, maketh increase of the body under the edifying of itself in love. Ephesians chapter 4, verses 15 to 16. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such there is no law. Galatians chapter 5, verses 22 to 23. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doth he meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water, that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Psalms chapter 1, verses 1 to 3. And beside this, giving all diligence, add to your faith virtue, and to virtue knowledge, and to knowledge temperance, and to temperance patience, and to patience godliness, and to godliness brotherly kindness, and to brotherly kindness charity. For if these things be in you and abound, they make you that ye shall neither be barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. Second Peter chapter 1, verses 5 to 8. But when that which is perfect is come, then that which is in part shall be done away. When I was a child, I spake as a child, I understood as a child, I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. For now we see through a glass darkly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, but then shall I know even as also I am known. 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verses 10 to 12. All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. 2 Timothy chapter 3, verses 16 to 17. I can do all things through Christ which strengtheneth me. Philippians chapter 4, verse 13. Being confident of this very thing, that he which hath begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. Philippians chapter 1, verse 6. My brethren, count it all joy when ye fall into diverse temptations. James chapter 1, verse 2. Be ye followers of me, even as I also am of Christ. 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 1. For the grace of God that bringeth salvation hath appeared to all men 
teaching us that, denying ungodliness and worldly lusts, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world, looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior, Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us, that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify unto himself a peculiar people, zealous of good works. Titus chapter 2, verses 11 to 14. For the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ, till we all come in the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God, unto a perfect man, unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. Ephesians chapter 4, verses 12 to 13. Thanks for listening. This is Daniel, the creator of Daily Bible Audio. If these Bible verses have been a blessing to you, please subscribe and click the bell. Please share the video with others you care about. God bless you.